What's going on YouTube? Pistol Pete here. As you can see by the title, today we're going to be talking about a bitchin' blade. This thing is just awesome, man. So let me tell you a little bit of a story first, uh, how I came across it. Um, I, I just saw it on eBay and I was scroll, uh, scrolling eBay, which I got to quit doing because <laughs> sometimes it gets addicting and then end up uh, spending uh, more money than I should. But this one, I, I had to do it. Uh, I saw it and it, it caught my eye because it was very different. I was like, what the hell is that? You know, and it looked cool. I mean, it looks like a tool even more than a knife or a blade in my opinion. This thing feels and looks like a straight up tool, which I know all knives are tool. I get it. I'm just saying it doesn't have like a, I don't know, just something about it just screams like use me type of freaking vibe to it, right? It's just awesome. So uh, I ended up doing it. It was a forbid. I ended up bidding on it and I knew nothing about it. I knew nothing about the maker or anything like that. And I ended up uh, winning it for you know, and then I, I paid quite a bit for it. It was pretty used and abused. It was pretty beat up. So I was like, damn, I don't know if I did a good idea, but it looked quality to me. The whole thing looks like in really good quality, in my opinion. So I was like, you know, it looks like a high-end knife, but it does look like it's been used, well used. And um, let me just tell you, even I'm going to show you pictures so you guys can see too in, the, uh, in a little bit. I'll, I'll bring it up in a little bit. But it even looks like a guy took a file to it to sharpen it instead of sharpening it like properly, you know, and it just, it looked just totally kind of abused, but I, it still looked quality. So I, I got it. And then after I got it, I went to try to look it up a little bit, and uh, as you can see, well, it's uh, Winger Blades is the name of it. So I went to look that knife maker up, and I guess he's a well, uh, well-known knife maker in the community. Uh, he makes awesome high-end knives uh, for uh, you know for uh, camping and bushcraft and stuff like that. So, um, and this knife, I, I didn't realize how much it goes for. I guess if you were, I mean, now you can't even get it. I think it's a discontinued knife. I can't even. I, I, used, to, I used to be able to find it when I went to go to the website. Now I can't even find that knife listed when I go to the website. So I think he took it down maybe because my, my shorts and videos I've been doing on it. Maybe people have been asking, requesting it, but it was up there still just out of stock. Now he took it down. So you could you try looking it up. It just says 404 page not found or something. So um, I think he took it down, uh, but it was uh, it when he did sell it, it went for 700 bucks. 700 bucks so i was like wow and i paid nothing i paid way less than half than that you know well, i shouldn't say way less but i paid half than that less than half so i was like um happy to hear that i was like okay cool you know and so um and like i said it's really rare really rare i haven't seen one like this since then um but what it is is an old it what he did was it's his take on the old uh spaz spaznitz if i say that right s-p-e-n-t EZ, I believe it is, or AZ, one of the two, but I'm probably butchering it. But it was an old uh, special forces for the Russian during Soviet Union uh, era. So uh, they were they were uh, using these type of trenching tools. And uh, so he did it's his take on that. And what he said, I saw one of his, uh, <laughs> someone posted a video of him at a Blade show and he asked to get his opinion on that. And he said he took out all the uh, communism and added democracy and freedom to the Blade. <laughs> and his, his take is badass. In my opinion, his take is going to be like way better, uh, way better quality, way better uh, everything. All the way around, it's just, just going to be a better freaking Blade. So what I'm going to do here, uh, let's, let's get quick talking. I'm going to show you the sheath first. Even the sheath looks quality. Look at this, this is the sheath that came in. So mind you, this is used. I bought it used, so it's a little, little bit beat up. This sheath's not too bad, not too bad, but you can tell it's just thick, solid sheath, slides in from the top. Um, just just freaking awesome, awesome sheath. Even the riveting looks nice and tight. Um, just quality, quality. Has these leather straps that go over to buckle it in. Just beautiful. All right, let's get on to the blade. Check this bad boy out. Let me go on from the side here. Boom. <laughs> Look at that thing. Is that not beautiful? Just awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's go this way with it. Now, is it just me or does this freaking thing look like a freaking tool, man? <laughs> like, it screams like just badass, just do anything type of tool. So, what these were pretty much, like I said, it was a, it was a, a Russian style uh, trench tool that they used for everything. Um, and of course, of course, it's like half, they say it's like a uh, pretty much a hatchet, machete, knife, all in one, right? Pry bar. So when I'll, let me tell you this real quick, because I hate, I hate jumping around. Sorry if I jump around too much, but I get excited over this stuff. Um, he ended up, uh, so since when I got it, it was all scraped up. It didn't look like this. It was all scraped up. The, the, this came in an, an, an I can't say it, Anodox black coating is when I asked him, he's uh, anodized type coating. It wasn't uh, bluing. So, uh, but it was all just 
you know, just scraped off from use and use and use. And well, you can see now it looks freaking pretty much brand spanking new. <laughs> I had my boy Wyatt Hines. And I'm telling you guys, freaking Wyatt Hines, man. The guy's freaking a perfectionist, dude. I sent it to him and he smoothed out all the scratches, took it down, took it to his finer belts, buffed out all the impurities. All this was all just, you could tell, just big scrapes from uh, using a uh, file. And look at that. Let me that shit look brand new. Got it back to a razor, razor freaking edge. I'm going to show you in a minute here. Let me stop the video real quick. And I will show you pictures of the original Russian trench tool, the Spaznets. And then I'll show you the uh, pictures of how this came when I first got it. Okay, so you saw how bad <laughs> how bad uh, this was beat up, man. It was pretty pretty tore up. Uh, so now you see what kind of work Wyatt does for real, man. He made this thing look like it came from the freaking uh, from the, out of the the factory that that Dave uh, Winger sent it himself. So, um, and I personally like the bluing better. The that black coating they used on this was more dull. It was like a soft dull. When I took it off, stripped it, and put the black coating. Actually, Wyatt put it on for me. Um, and it makes it look so much better. It gives it that shiny type look for it, but I just love it. I think it's gonna hold, I think the height scratch is a little better too with this coating. Uh, and obviously protect the blade from rusting and all stuff because, let me go over the specs of this real quick. Let me go over that, let's do that, knock that out of the way. So this one here is 15, uh, 15 and a half inches overall length. Um, you got a five and a half inch handle length. You got a five and a half inch blade, I'm sorry, a 10 inch blade length, which is a decent 10 inch blade length. Um, it's a quarter inch thick. Look at that thickness. I mean, quarter inch thick all the way, full tank construction on canvas micarta handles. Nice little attachments here for lanyard, attachment up here. Um, just awesome, awesome, awesome. And then, so, and this one here is made out of, the original ones are mystery uh, steel. They don't know the, the, the original, uh, uh, Russian one, Soviet Union ones. There, I don't know what they were made out of. They, you know, I just, the other, everyone's saying they don't know. It's, but this, some of them look like they hold it pretty good. But it was hollow handle, so you know it's going to be known if you. I guarantee it can't take the abuse this can take. <laughs> guarantee freaking it. And this one here is made out of ADCR uh, V2, ADCR V2. So everyone knows that's awesome tool. When I told Wyatt that, he's like, "Oh, dude, that's perfect tool for this type of a beast. Man. A perfect steel for this type of a beast." uh it's it's gonna hold up it's, you're not gonna you're not gonna bust that thing man even if, unless you're doing something really freaking stupid you know you're trying to break it but other than that you're not breaking this it's gonna outlast you maybe not outlast your kids you know um the original one you can see in the picture it has all these indicate like numbers like a ruler has all these little features and it little notches here i didn't care for that though but i personally think this one just looks just like i said a, a future version of that old one and the weight on this, I mean, it's meant for chopping. You look at that. I mean, you'll <laughs> you chop a damn freaking cow's head off with this in one swipe, man. It's freaking, it feels, I mean, just all that weight going forward. It just feels like a, just a, well, we're going to do it. I'm going to take it out and we're going to try it out. I'm not going to go super hardcore on this because this is a freaking rare knife. He doesn't even sell this one anymore. Um, but like what I say, he, is, he has a super good reputation. Uh, Dave from... Uh, winger blades here he has a really good reputation for making awesome awesome knives he still has other ones he still sells but just not this one um and like i said they're all high end though you're not gonna find any knife under 300 bucks from him they're all above 300 to a thousand i believe um but this thing is just freaking badass love it love it okay so let's show you here I've got this to show you some sharpness <laughs> uh, let's see so Wyatt put a freaking wicked edge on it. Let's go down here towards the bottom part. Oops, let's get up there. Catch it on. Kind of hard because that recurve in there. And that's the only thing with that recurve is awesome, but there we go. Just 
because I'm sliding it. Oh, there we go. I mean, it's getting sliced, not tearing. It's tearing at the bottom once I catch it on here, but because I'm turning it. If I don't turn it, it freaking just. Razor, let me tell you, hair popping sharp. I'm talking hair popping for freaking a blade like this <laughs> to shave hair and cut paper like that. That's the man, he, freaking Wyatt, man. He, he knows how to throw an edge on a freaking knife. But just awesome. Just awesome, awesome, awesome. Freaking love it. Uh, let's take this thing out and fucking, I uh, just can't wait. Let's take this out and smash on some stuff and see how it does. Okay, let's start with the bottle cut and the can cut. Boom. Clean. Look how sharp that shit is. Oh, you guys saw. <laughs> On the video. Pretty sharp as hell. All right. Let's go on to the can. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Chop that sucker in half, too. Easy peasy. Okay, let's take some chops at what's left of this door. <laughs> I'm about to find me a new one. See how the grip feels and how the edge holds up here. Man, wood just flying. Man, very minimal vibration in the hand and just that weight going down. Man, it just, it's definitely, definitely built to be a chopper. Look at that, look at that, moving that, removing that material. Like it's nothing. Damn, just mowing through it. And very, very minimal effort. I mean, literally just flicking the wrist, just letting it drop. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. Nothing wrong with the edge at all. No chipping, no folding, nothing. Coating getting a little bit scratched up, but it's all good. Just the coating. Awesome. Okay. Brought this hard old stick out. Let's chop it up and see, uh, see how it goes through it. Yeah, this thing is just built for chopping. I could honestly say this is probably one of the best choppers I have. I mean, it's just awesome, man. Look at that thing. Look at that. I mean, just one swiping takes so much out, so much material, just removes material so easy. Look at that. Just awesome, man. That recurve really pulls material as well. <sighs> Come on, guys. Freaking badass. Since this thing is such a crazy-ass chopper, I mean, this is the main design of this damn blade, man. It's so awesome. Um, I don't have anything really to baton with. I would love to show you batoning with this. I think there's one other gentleman that has this blade that shows some batoning. Um, unfortunately, I just don't have logs like this, which I'm not going to try to baton through. And uh, I have little tiny-ass logs that I just did right now you saw me chop with. So... Unfortunately, I'm not gonna do batoning, but quarter inch thick, awesome heat treat. You know it's gonna be a batoning machine. Um, but since I have this though, I'm gonna chop through it for you guys and see how uh, see how fast I can get through this. And this is oak, mind you, from a headboard. Just removing material. You see that? Man, with just a few freaking swipes. Very 
very, very minimal shock, almost nothing as far as shock. And it's just mowing through this. Look at that. Oh, ho, ho. man, in no time at all. Look at that, and flawless. Ooh, hot to the touch. Friction, but... No rolls, no folds, damn. Still freaking razor sharp. Freaking winner. See how it does with some shaving. I have this old dry hard. It might not shave well, this might just fall off and crust, but we'll try it here. It's doing it, but you know, it's falling off. As you can see there. But you know what? There's more than one way to skin a kitty cat, especially with a knife this huge. This is probably the way to do it here. Oh, yeah. Use that recurve. Yeah, it's just falling off. This stuff, oh, shoot. <laughs> this stuff is just too old. It's falling off, but it's creating, look at this. It's creating that kindling we need, but just falling off. Let me do it this way. Good job, dog. Chop your nose off by accident. Okay, let's do some uh, four foot drops and a couple hard downward throws. We'll see how it works with this. Since this doesn't have a tip, it's kind of blunt. So it's kind of might not work, but we'll see. It has a lot of weight behind it, so maybe it will. Oh, nope, let's try it again. There we go. Yeah, so you gotta catch it at a kind of an angle since it's flat tipped, you know? Let me do a hard downward throw. Oh, <laughs> damn, <laughs> it's in there, ooh. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Of course, it's not gonna, it didn't do any damage at all. This thing's freaking a tank, man, it's so solid. Beast. Let's do a penetration test. I'm gonna hit this log down, see how hard I, how far it goes into the log here. I'm gonna hit the log down, I'm gonna hit the blade as hard as I can down at the log and see how, how, how far it sticks in here. Oh, almost split in the log. Almost have this first little grind here. Damn, let's try again. Man. man, it's cracking the log here. This thing's such a beast, man. One more. <laughs> Missed the side, went straight into the thing, but oh, it's in there. I could lift the log with, damn. Man, just freaking straight up beast. Straight up beast. Let's see, I'm gonna try it one more this way. I right? push it up against my gut and go down like this to make feathers. This I think is better. Oh yeah. See that coming out there. Look at that. Man. Awesome. Oh, I'm not getting it in the camera there though. Getting in the frame. There we go. Look at that. Oh man, easy for pushing. It gives you this little space here where you can grab. Because this saw is pretty sharp right here. And man, look at that. All day. Easy. Look at that. It's even getting curls up onto the blade. <laughs> That's awesome. Freaking. Look at that, man. Feathering like no other, man. Easy. Easy, this beast. What a beast. I forgot to demonstrate this part. This part is freaking razor sharp, too. So you got like almost two tips tip here and tip here. So look at this, even from the top. <laughs> Boom.
butter. I mean, this is easy, easy. Man, look at that. Look at those little freaking curls, just perfect. Man, this thing is straight up tool, straight up tool. All right, I brought this branch out here, thin branch, just to simulate food prep or uh, if you got to delimb something and you want to take off some some of these little branches in here, how easy it is. But you guys already will know that. Look at this. <laughs> no effort. I almost feel zero resistance going through this. I mean, literally, like, eh, eh. I mean, I, I mean, if you go any type hard, I mean, boom, you're going straight through it. Look at that. Just easy. Man, this thing is just such a beast. Let's take off this big ass. Easy. Take this off. Oh, let's go this one. Okay, narrow it down to this big one here. One shop. One. This is not super thick, but <laughs> no, no chance. Let's check out that saw. And he did say, Dave uh, Winger, the designer and maker of this blade, he said this saw is meant for notching and soft stuff. It's, that's what it's meant for. He didn't make it for like sawing through a big ass tree or something. It was more for notching for small work like this. And uh, look at that. Perfect little notch. I mean, that's what it's meant for. It's not meant for, uh, and this sharp, they're pretty damn sharp though. But I mean, if you had to, I'm pretty sure you could saw through a thick ass branch. They're pretty aggressive. But, yeah. That's it, guys. That's it. All right, guys. So, freaking bitching, man. This thing is just freaking awesome, dude. Just so freaking amazing. I was just blown away by it. The coating came off a little bit, right? It's and what, what I love about this. It's bluing, bluing. So it's so easy, just re-blue it. Get re-blue and put it back over it and you can make it look brand new again. Unlike traction coating shit, bullshit traction coating. Um, you know, you get that, You once it comes off, you're kind of screwed. You know, you can't really put on traction coating. I mean, that's factory type shit, but bluing, gun blue, just re-blue it and make this thing look brand new again. As far as the edge, look at the edge. Flawless, no nicks, no rolls, no chips, no, I mean, you got quality. This guy just makes quality work. He's, he's known for his, his heat treating, his knives and stuff. Once I started posting this, people are like, oh, dude, that guy's awesome work and blah, blah, blah. So, I mean, I know he's, I never heard of him and haven't experienced it until now. 100% agree. <laughs> he freaking does awesome work. I swear to you, I didn't strop it. I didn't do nothing to this um, after chopping. And I chopped off camera too. I just wanted to test it out and just smash through other logs too, just to see how it, how it, how it holds up and how it feels. Um, <clears throat> I don't have to say, out of all the knives I tested, every single one I've ever had, this is the first knife i'd have to say that has been the best chopper this one has been the best chopper uh, hands down wins i've had a lot of good choppers a lot of good choppers. And you know me I'm, I'm i follow my channel at all i like big i'm into big booties i love big booty knives this one chops like a damn axe it chops like a hand axe it really does i mean that forward weight going down it just man it just you saw look you saw the video you saw what i did it ate through everything with minimal effort from me. I mean, talk about saving calories and expenditure. I mean, just as soon as that motion down, boom, and it just removes material. So let's check it out. After all that, all that banging, all that hammering, all that carving, freaking thing is still a freaking razor blade. Man, one more here. That's a cut. It's a tore at the very bottom, but those are those are slices. Those aren't tears. Man, this thing is freaking bitching, guys. Um, too bad they're just so pricey. And this one you're not gonna find. You're not gonna find. But um, man, it's it's a it's a home run. Home run. This thing's badass. This is one of those things where you, I'd have to say you get what you pay for, right? You're gonna pay top dollar for something like this, but you get what you pay for. This is the prime example of that. This thing is awesome and no damage, no damage at all. Um, like I expected, it's just, just bitching, just bitching guys. All right. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you're new to the channel, please like subscribe, share. Um, and until next knife gun or whatever.